Meanwhile, France seems to be in no hurry to mend ties with Canberra. Even two weeks after Australia scrapped a multi-billion dollar submarine contract that it originally had signed with France back in 2016. The last month, France was left enraged and fuming when Australia suddenly decided to sign a deal to have a new fleet of nuclear-powered submarines developed by the United States of America. The new deal that is worth about $66 billion replaced the $40 billion contract that Australia had originally signed with the French government for a dozen conventional attack submarines. Now, to underline the French outrage over the new AUKUS security deal between Australia, the United States and England, France resorted to a diplomatic snub. So far, Paris has reacted differently to each of the three nations involved in the AUKUS. Now, to protest over this deal and also the humiliation in the manner in which the deal with France was cancelled, France, of course, has chosen to recall its ambassador from Australia. The envoy is still in Paris with no date set for his return at this point of time. But the French ambassador to the United States, who was withdrawn at the same time in protest, has already returned to Washington, D.C. Remember, France never withdrew its ambassador from the United Kingdom. The French President Emmanuel Macron, who spoke to the United States President Joe Biden on the 22nd of September. The two leaders will meet in person later this month. Now, Macron also spoke with the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson last week, but he has declined requests for a call from the Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison. Now, the Australian Prime Minister who wants to clear the air for having secretly scrapped the deal with the French and secretly signed this deal with the Americans has said that he understands France's disappointment. Now, Morrison was a guest of Macron in the French capital as recently as the month of June has acknowledged that he will need to be patient. Now, the U.S. Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, has also arrives in Paris next week to try and rebuild the bridges that have been burnt with France. Blinken will travel to Paris for a meeting with the OECD Club of Advanced Market Economies. He intends to promise better communication with France, as he's now scheduled to also meet with the French officials. Following the submarine deal fallout, a round of free trade talks between the European Union and Australia has also now been postponed by a period of a month. The Australian Trade Minister, Dan Tehan, is due to be in Paris next week, but his French counterpart, Frank Reister, has declined to meet him. The European Union is Australia's third biggest trading partner, and the two sides had hoped to reach a deal before the end of this year. But it is yet to be seen whether France will, of course, use the trade deal to punish Australia. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.